this video, we will be demonstrating the curved bars and Davix experiment, the STS-14, for practically teaching students how load affects the vertical and horizontal deflection of various curved bars and davits, plus the elastic bending of these bars and davit structures. bars that you see here, while not representing popular practical structures, have been incorporated into this experiment kit for studying the strain energy method that is Catigliano's theorem. The davits of which we have both angled and curved represent popular real-life structures. A great example is the crane structure used to lower a lifeboat. Let's take a look around the experiment. At the back here is the sturdy back plate and attached to that using a strong magnet is the indicator carrier. This unit allows you to fit the, both the deflection indicators as shown here. We have one for horizontal and another for vertical direction deflection. The data can either be recorded manually from the individual digital readouts or by connecting them to the USB data interface hub that is mounted on the structure's platform. That then connects to a computer running Techquipment's versatile data acquisition software. A fixing block is attached to the front of the structure's platform here for attaching the davits and curved bars. To apply the load, a mass hanger and the individual 20 gram masses are added to the upper end of the davit hole bar, which will cause it to bend like this. Now it's time to do the experiment. I'm starting with the angle davit. First, I compare the theoretical calculated defection using the supplied vernier caliper to measure the cross-sectional dimensions of the davit. Then it's time to test the davit by fixing it in place like this and applying loads in 100 gram increments. Each time measuring the vertical deflection and horizontal deflection. With a table of results either manually filled out or collected within the versatile data acquisition software, you can calculate the I value of the davit, chart deflection against load and confirm the relationship between the two. Add the theoretical values and see if they match up if they don't consider what might be the causes of variation. You then proceed to do this for the curved davit and the two different curved bars. Now you can consider what is the overall best design for minimal deflection. This is one of 21 experiments within the next generation structures range from Tech Equipment. For more information on the curved bars and davits experiment and other experiments within the range, click on the links below. Tech Equipment offers a full selection of videos in the form of playlists on Tech Equipment's YouTube channel. Why not follow the Structures playlist for more videos like this one? Thank you for watching.